For practice exercise 6.1 boy girl, we're asked to write a method named boy girl. So we're going to start out with a public static void boy girl. And this is going to be our current code. Then we look back in the instruction and we accept a scanner as a parameter. So in here we'll have a scanner and we'll call it scan. The scanner is reading its input from a file containing a series of names followed by integer, which is this. The, aims, the names alternate between boys' names and girls' names. Our method should compute the absolute difference between the sum of the boys' integers and the sum of the girls' integers. So we also need to see how many boys and how many girls in here. Well, we know all of this, so we can start making variables. We can say int boys and initialize this to zero. And then we'll say int girls and initialize this to zero since we know we're counting boys and girls. And then after this, we know we need the sum of boys and girls. So we can have int b sum is equal to zero. And then int g sum is also equal to zero. If we wanted to, we can define these on the same line, just like this, with commas in between them to separate them just to save some space. And then a semicolon at the end, since they're all integers. The input could end with either a boy or a girl, and we may not assume it contains an even number of names. Well, the easiest way to do this would actually to be to use a while loop. In our while loop, we are going to run this, and since we have a scanner, we'll run this while scan dot has next. So we're going to run this while the scanner has a next token, and we're going to analyze all of these tokens. In here, the first thing that we need to analyze is this string, the um, name of the person. But we're not really analyzing it, we're just, we just need to know if it's a boy or a girl. And we know it starts with a boy, then it alternates to a girl, starts with a boy, alternates to a girl, and so on and so forth. So what we can do is since we actually need to take the string to go to the double next, if we just say string or if we just say double is equal to scan dot next int or not double but int, well this won't run because we have a string in front of this integer, so we need to really get rid of the string first. So what we can do is store this in a temporary value, and we can say string temp is equal to scan dot next that way it gets this string right here this would be an int in this example but we're not using it so we're going to have our string temp equal to stand scan dot next int so this gets int now we need to see if it's a boy or a girl well we know they alternate and it starts with the boy's name first so what we can do is actually make another variable we can call this turns and this will increment every single time. And if it is a certain number, it'll be, or if it's a certain odd or even, it'll be boy. If it's a certain odd or even, it'll be girl. We can call this turn, or we can call this gender to make it more specific. And we'll set this equal to one. So now we're gonna be in our if statement. We have our if statement, and in here, we're going to run it um, for, for boys and then after if statement we'll have an else statement that does girls so if gender modulus 2 is equal and then what we're doing here is basically deciding if it's um, odd or even um, and if um, let's say the gender is modulus 2 is equal to 1 that means that it has a remainder and since gender starts at one, we are um, starting with the first Steve part. Um, we could, if we wanted to, we could say this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero. It doesn't matter. We're just going to stick with one for this example. So um, now we have to increment the amount of boys we have because every time we're in this if statement, it means we have a boy. So we'll do boys plus plus. And after this, we are going to get the sum. And we're going to do this by using the plus equals operator. So it would be sum 
is equal to plus or is plus equals and then in here we will have the um, next integer which would be this so we can say scan dot next int so this line every time it runs we're just going to look at this part right now when line six runs it is going to take Steve so the next part of our file is going to be three so then this adds the next three if it was a girl this string temp would store Sylvia and then we would have our else statement which we're about to do that would um, have seven so now we have our else statement and in here we will basically be doing this exact same thing but for girls so we'll have girls plus plus and then g sum or the sum for the girls plus equals because we are adding um, to the previous amount is equal to scan dot next int and after we do this we need a way to increment the gender so that every single time it goes up so that it can alternate between if, um, the boys and the girls or the if else statement so after our if else statement we're just gonna have gender plus plus now we can break out of our while loop so we'll be below this parenthesis and we can start printing things so I have a system dot out dot print line and in here we have to have this number four which is the boys so we'll have boys plus which is really just appending two strings or combining two string and then we need this right here space boys space and in here we have another plus and then we're gonna have girls plus and then a space and then girls we're gonna have another print line statement so just copy this and inside of this print line statement we are just going to have a difference between boys and girls sums as a single string and then we are just going to have the difference between the sums so we need to calculate the difference well this is going to just be boys minus girl sum so we'll have b sum minus g sum if we do this and submit it we can see that oh right since it is after this plus sign it's getting confused with what this is since this negative is a binary um, or not binary but since this negative is a math and this plus is trying to um, make these two together it's confusing it so what we can do is actually do this outside and versus some dot out dot print line and we can just do int total is equal to this and then we can just write total in here so if we submit this we pass some tests and we have errors in others if we look at this we notice that our error comes from um, our result being negative and this is a super easy fix all we need to do is change this to math dot abs or math dot absolute put our total in it run this again and then we will see that our total will now be an absolute value so it'll always be even and this gives us the correct output for this problem so this is the code that will give us the desired output right here and pass all the tests for this problem